everyone who comes to work here or at any of the restaurants I have, I try to explain to them that, you know, treat this as you're cooking for your family. You have all the virtues of doing your best work, being it for, you know, the, the ones you love. My name is Justin Bazderic. I am chef owner of Oshimoko Restaurant. I started at John George Restaurant as an intern. I started peeling garlic. It's funny, they always said that they never thought I was gonna make it to the upstairs kitchen. Through time, I'd learned that it's how do we do it better tomorrow than we do it today. Perry Street started to open. At Perry Street, that's where I really learned how to create my own recipes. After I worked at Perry Street, I traveled with Jean George for three years and opened 15 restaurants. But then after a while, it's like I saw myself go a different direction of wanting to do food that was a lot more simple. The first concept that I opened on my own was Speedy Romeo, all wood-fired concept, a wood-burning grill, a wood-burning oven. After opening the second Speedy Romeo in Lower East Side, I thought to myself I'd like to try a new style of food. Oshimoko opened June 5th, 2018, the day after my son was born. The cuisine at Oshimoko is Mexican. The food lends itself to many smoky and sort of earthy flavors. You've got acid, you've got you know lime and all these different fruits, and the chilies, and then the marinades, these like earthy marinades, throwing everything over the wood-fired grill, just is so beautiful. In terms of the food on the plate, the presentation of the, of the dishes, I have to have color. This restaurant particularly, I thought in that realm a lot. The, the name Oshimoko of the restaurant is named after the Aztec goddess of night. So with that sort of like dreamy, I don't know, ethereal type, the food sort of takes that psychedelic look. Oshimoko received the Michelin star November 4th. <laughs> Can't forget. We weren't planning this in any way, but then we just stuck with that mantra of how do we do it better tomorrow than today. The more I started like, you know, eating the food and watching the service and like, everything was sort of glowing in here, you know? And then, you know, we got the call and so, exciting, very exciting. I think us getting a Michelin star in Greenpoint has only added to the culinary base that's already here. For me personally, this street reminds me a lot of small town cities in Missouri and Kansas where I grew up. And so I love this block. I, you know, to be able to like sort of just walk out and stand on the street, watch the sunset go down the block. There's so many of these institutions that are here in this neighborhood, you know, I want us to be an institution as well.